my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name's Olivia if you're new here and I'm going to be taking you through how I did this look today. I just filmed me making this look and I'm going to overlay that with me chatting about each product so you can see um, how I got here from start to finish. Um, so basically I primed my skin with the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Pore Diffusing Primer. Now a lot of these products um, have been recently purchased at Sephora and I've only used them a couple times. This is the this is only the first or second time of me using them but I really wanted to use them today and show you how I got this look and just play around as well. It's all fun. I'm not an expert or here to tell you how you should do your makeup but if you want to do a similar look then go ahead and use um, similar products or if you have similar skin type to me then definitely um, these products might help you um, but I'll give you my opinion and review and feedback on all of them as we go along. So like I said I use the Rare Beauty primer to start because I heard great reviews um, that it is great for minimizing the look of pores. Um, as I use it now or as I see it in the mirror now because um, it does look a lot different from real life to camera. Camera kind of blows everything out and makes everything look a little filtered even though that does look nice on camera. I want it to look as real as possible so for me I feel like it does diffuse a lot of the um, pores on my cheeks or right by my eyes which I like um, but not so much on the forehead. Maybe I just need to clean my pores out a bit more or exfoliate some more but it uh, does seem to diffuse the look of the pores slightly on my cheeks here. Um, I then put the NARS Smudge Proof eyeshadow primer on my nose actually because I heard from Robert Welsh a YouTube influencer who does who talks about makeup he's actually a makeup artist professionally on YouTube and in real life and he um, had a tip or a hack to put your eyeshadow primer on your nose because it's very tacky and that could possibly keep the makeup um, on your nose a bit better especially with wearing masks or right now I have allergies summer allergies so I keep wiping my nose and I'm hoping that that will help diffuse the look of the pores and also keep my makeup on my nose a bit longer we shall see um, but I do love that hack and hopefully you guys can use that tip as well in the future I put the um, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless filter like primer on there. I'm not sure if you would call that a primer, but some people use it as a primer. Um, I just bought that recently um, to diffuse the look of um, redness on my skin and also like make my skin kind of one even skin tone because I found that when I put my makeup on my foundation a lot of the times um, it would be too pale in some places, just the right color in others etc. Um, maybe that's a foundation issue or my skin issue but I really heard great things about this flawless filter to also um, bring life and light and dewiness to your skin as well so because I am so dry I wanted to um, try it out for um, brightening skin as well um, because I'm as I say in a lot of my videos about skincare makeup whatever I am always trying to make my skin look um, a lot brighter and dewier and not so dull and dry so that's another reason why I bought that um, this is the first time I'm using it all over I'm loving it so far it really um, helps with evening out the redness and uh, and as you can see in the overlay it is a little dark it's the number three but number two is a little light it, even though it looks a little dark on camera it actually um, looks great in real life and once I put my my foundation, meaning my Tarte Shape Tape foundation, which is, which is actually a little too light for me, so they kind of match well together for me personally. And then when I put my bronzer and contour on in real life, it all just smooths together and um, looks like one even skin tone for me and matches quite well. Um, and I think it, it that translates on camera as well.
went and had I went ahead and did my uh, concealer. So a new step that I wanted to try recently is uh, putting a color corrector on my really deep purple brown under eye circles, which I absolutely hate. And um, you know, will try anything to do like diminish them, the look of them. So I went ahead and I found after a lot of research that the LA Girl Pro Corrector in like yellow because even though um, I might look a little pale on the camera I'm more of a light not medium but light edge of medium skin tone in real life I'm like olivey yellowy but also neutral pink with my redness so leaning a little darker even though again I look I'm pale in other places I'm um, a little darker on my face when I manage the redness so I got light, no, I got yellow in the corrector, not the light yellow. And also because my circles are so purple, I wanted to get a darker yellow as well. Um, it does show up a little orange, so uh, I might try another yellow another day, but for the now, this yellowy orange color works fine. And in the overlay, you can see that I add um, a bit more and a bit more. Um, that does add to the dryness of my skin, unfortunately. And I will see throughout the night um, if it starts to cake or crepe under the eyes, but I really am determined to like cover those purple brown colors, so I just packed it on. Another trick that I've heard a lot is, again I think from Robert Welsh and other people, is putting an oil underneath your eyes just a little bit. Um, so little that you don't even feel like a, a slick under your eyes. Like, you want it to be really hydrated, but not wet feeling, not oily feeling. Just a little, little bit. Um, so that's what I did. I put oil underneath my eyes, um, to hydrate them. Um, and then the color corrector. And then the new NARS Matte Concealer, um, in the little pot. Um... Not that my Tarte Shape Tape isn't great, it really is, and I might try this trick with the Shape Tape another day. But I got the NARS Matte Corrector because Allie Glines um, uses it a lot and also put it in her um, top, like, favorite concealers. And when she put it on, when she actually put it on in a video, it, like, practically corrected her under eyes like I could have sworn. It was like magic. She put it on... And her under eyes were just gone and you know in the camera you could not see them whatsoever they just like popped like her eyes just like popped and looked so smooth too I was like it looked like magic I don't know if she uses filters or whatever I don't think she does but maybe it's the lighting kind of like it is for me now but I put it on and I didn't put enough like you could still, I think in the overlay, you can see that I put more on because you could still see the the shape of my under eye. You could still see the brown. I mean, again, nothing besides a procedure will, like, make the under eyes pop if they're sunken or anything like that. I understand that. But I'm, like I said, when Allie Glines did it, it looked almost magical. I was like, oh my gosh, I want that. I didn't unfortunately get that. I'm not saying this isn't a good concealer for some people. Um, and, it, and I think it is a good match for me. Um, I got a few shades lighter than my skin tone because I knew that I was using it under my eyes. But um, I do have to realize that we also have really different skin types. She maybe doesn't have as much, like her under eye circles aren't as prevalent. Mine go all the way like down. You know, they're really dark purple and brown. Um, it, it's going to take a lot to really correct it, unfortunately. Um, so I did my best today. And this is kind of how it came out. Um, a trick I will say is, um, at first I was patting. No, at first I was using my new concealer brush that I got from e.l.f. to apply both products. And then I realized that was just... No, I will say a quick tip. What I was doing is applying the products with the new concealer brush that I got from um, e.l.f. And then, you know, patting it in with, a, with my finger to, like, warm it up. 
and I felt like my finger was just eating it or my skin was just eating it and like although it was kind of like blending in okay I was losing a lot of product so I ended up going back with um, more corrector more concealer with the elf um, concealer brush not using my finger and using the rare beauty um, uh, concealer brush and stippling stippling just means like patting um, on the product and I think that um, was a lot better method of, of putting these products on to make them stay um, and it didn't look cakey because I blended them I blended them out with the brush rather than my finger that just kind of soaked it up into my my finger pores or into my skin so that's that on the concealer the next step was the eyes where I showed you where I show you how to do um, this eye and then the other eye kind of came off camera I used the the Tati palette, the only one she has, um, because somebody else used it the other day and, and just got me inspired to do like a neutrals look. But of course I couldn't just go neutrals because I want to always shine like super bright. So in her palette I use like her glitters, um, which by the way are kind of falling unfortunately. I did um, get the new e.l.f. like crease brush that has nothing on it and I keep trying to like um, wipe it away. So keep, bear in mind if you do use loose glitter like this, it could fall over the course of a couple hours or the night. But I personally don't mind. Some people might not want their glitter to fall. I think you could use a glitter glue, which I've never done before. Um, but you could totally go and do that. Yeah, use a glitter glue if you want it to stay or stick, but I don't have one. So I just keep like wiping them away with a clean brush which works fine or just your finger very gently but also I don't mind if somebody sees me and is like oh you have glitter under here you have glitter I mean unless it's like wham like packed on in one place which it's not and it's just kind of trickling down I kind of don't mind looking a little bit like a disco ball that's just me even on a random night you know having dinner with family and friends so that's just me anyway fair warning about the glitter but you'll have fallout probably but if you don't mind Next was the um, new contour bronzer from Patrick Ta, which I was super nervous about getting because I was like, oh, that's so professional. I don't know what I'm doing. I wouldn't know what to do with it. I'm so nervous. Like, I wouldn't know where to start or even how to look good with, you know, using a professional, like, a, pro a professional looking bronzer contour set. I barely... I barely contour as it is and that's with the and I usually use the Fenty cream bronzer I went into Sephora thinking I'm only gonna get a brush for the new Fenty cream bronzer that I keep using because I'm using um, these Sephora brushes that are fine and um, sponges but I would love an actual cream bronzer brush so I was gonna get the Mario Makeup by Mario brush that I did a lot of research on and felt like that would be the best because it's dual ended so I can make the, the harsh line but then blend it out and make it look a little more natural hopefully and then I got sucked in like nobody roped me into it but I saw the Patrick Ta palette that I've seen everybody and their mother use like um, Khaki, Ali, Robert Welsh maybe but I don't think so I haven't seen him use it but a lot of other people use that I follow, um, oh, uh, Manny MUA, like, so many people using it, and, again, I was super intimidated, but I just was, like, it was either that or the Charlotte Tilbury, um, all over face bronzer, but, um, it was a little light for me, and it was a powder, so I was a little, like, hesitant to get a powder, because, again, I'm dry, and I wasn't sure of I just wasn't sure. I was like, do I stick with the Fenty cream and then get a powder bronzer as well? I don't need it. I don't need it. But then I got it and I fell in love. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. I again did a bunch of research to look for my face shape, which I think is more round. Somebody tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. Maybe I'm more oval now that I look at it, but I think I'm more round and like puffy right here. So I googled how to do bronzer and contour on somebody with a brown with a round face so this is what I came up with just under the the jaw or not jaw but 
cheekbones here and here and I have been doing blush recently quite a lot but I felt with this kind of like more smoky-ish eye like my attempt at a smoky eye with a glitter like neutral like natural fade glitter um I wouldn't do any blush today because I didn't buy any blush I do have the Bare Minerals bronzer but I am not sure if I've used that in a video let me know in the comments if I've used that in a video I've used it a lot on Instagram and other in other pictures but I'm not sure if I've shown it in a video um, if you want to see that used in a video I'll totally show you because I've been using I've been doing a lot of looks like a lot of pink bright pink looks with the bronzer which I love but I won't go into that today but I do love that new like bronzer blush um, and then I got distracted by all the glitter and had this kind of in mind as a wish purchase of like I don't need it but I need it kind of a thing this fancy highlighter which I uh, the diamond bomb which I have in the carrots like how many carrots something whatever it's called I love that one because it's super um, glittery which I just want to be like a diamond I keep saying that all the time I just want to be like a disco ball um, and this is the exact same but in like a rosy rosy color and it's um, called Rose Rave and just the packaging like I fell in love with it I swatched it in store safely um, and yeah so I also got two Fenty brushes while I was in there I got the Fenty um, highlighter brush to put this on and my other diamond bomb on because I didn't have an official like highlighter brush I do have the Real Techniques one that I use a lot which applies fine but I couldn't help but getting an actual highlighter brush from Fenty and then I got also their their it's called their cream face brush but it says on Sephora website that you can use this to apply cream um, blushes and bronzers my excuse for getting this new Fenty face brush is because um, I do have a couple cream blushes um, one from elf and one from Colourpop and I do really love blushes and if I get any more then I can use if I get any more cream ones I have a cream uh, blush brush on hand for the future and for the few that I do have and I was actually in need of a new powder because um, I have a trial size of the hourglass powder which is fine but even that although it's widely um, loved and well known and I do like it it is a little thick even though you would think every powder would be the same but actually I have that I have the elf HD powder which again kind of makes me look like super pale and is a little talky if that makes sense a little baby powdery I was just looked I was in the market for a really lightweight powder um, because I have such dry skin that I don't want to mattify my skin I don't want to dry out my skin but I also want to set it I mean also learning where to put your powders is essential too like I don't put it under my eyes anymore because I know that that will make my under eyes crepey and crease so I don't do that but I do want to set some places without it being super heavy yeah the silk powder from Tatcha was super lightweight it really is like silk um, you don't need that much um, just put it where you need it and it will really set your makeup but it does I mean I'm touching it now very lightly but it just literally feels like I don't know how to explain it it sets it but leaves it like silky smooth you know it leaves it really silky smooth new highlighter it is pink as I said it's like rose but I think that it still works with my kind of olivey skin tone and in the light you can definitely see it but it doesn't look too dark for me I, will, I really hope you can see that on the camera but anyway you can definitely go to the Sephora website and see how intensely glittery it is I really hope you enjoyed this kind of video of me chatting and you could see the um, start to finish 
process of me doing my makeup and going through all the products. If you want to see another look, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, DM me on Instagram. I love to talk all things makeup, skincare. Um, it's also a disability awareness um, channel. So if you want to talk anything chronic illness, disability, and want to hear top more topics on that as well, leave them down below or, or message me and I can do some more videos on that. But this is just um, what's been in my on my desk recently and I wanted to do a cool look with all the new things I bought so like I said I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications for every single time I post and I will see you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.